Hello, I'm James George and this is Web Design Blog and today we're going to talk about Bootstrap and using the uh, glyph icons in your Bootstrap uh, website templates. Uh, so let's take a look at what I've done here. You have a navigation bar with uh, glyph icons uh, in the nav and then I also have uh, glyph icons in uh, a services section. And so I'm going to show you how to do that with the HTML code. So let's hop over to Dreamweaver and I'll show you the index.html file. So you create your basic layout using your columns and everything else like you normally do. So let's hop up to the navigation ses uh, section and so let's say you have your list items for your basic home page and, and things like that. Instead of having um, a basic uh, home or about or portfolio, if you want to use icons instead, you use the I class and then the actual glyph icon name. And you wrap that in your list item. And you can find the names of these glyph icons via uh, the Get Bootstrap website. And I'll go there real quick and show you. Let's um, give it just a second. But basically, they lay it all out for you on Bootstrap. Uh, GetBootstrap.com. And we'll look at. I think it's components. Yep. On their components page, they have all of the available glyphs that you can use in your website. And so it'll just say glyph icon, then glyph icon dash whatever it is. So if you want this film, it's glyph icon space glyph icon dash film or dash signal or dash off or whatever you're going to use. And that's how you implement it into your website. And that's fine for uh, icons in your navigation system or something like that. But if you want them to span div, then you need to use a span class, which allows you to use them by yourself. And that's what I did for this section here, the services section. If you look at the HTML, I have uh, a four column section and then inside of that I have a three column section and a, a one column section and the span class you just say span class equals and then the name of your uh, glyph icon so I'm using the globe one and I had it pulled to the left and then the text is on the right and so the pull left pulls this icon to the left while you have your text and you know, your header and your text on the right. And that's how I created this layout. And so there's the globe and you, you know I just repeated the same format for all six of these sections with the four column. See with Bootstrap you have a 12 column span and so four columns means that it uh, divides uh, the 12 by 4. So uh, so 3 times 4 equals 12, so that's how you get three columns. Pretty simple. To create the hover effect where it changes colors, it's really simple. All you have to do is use the glyph icon class in your CSS. So this this is considered a class glyph icon and if you go over to the uh, theme.css that I created um, I usually create a separate theme file for all of my extra styling that I'm going to do for uh, any of my bootstrap uh, websites that I create and so inside of here I create the, the glyph icon class and I 
change the color here. So you have the color as this uh, dark blue that you see normally. And then when you hover, I just add the hover state to the end of this and I change the color to the bright green. That's all you have to do to create a uh, your icons and then have a hover state over them so it changes colors. It's a nice little effect and if you wanted to add transitions to it and easing and all that stuff you could do that too which is also a very nice effect for your websites. But that's that's all it takes to create and use glyph icons in your bootstrap themes. I'm sure you guys probably have questions about glyph icons and how to use them and how to create different effects. If you need help with them, uh, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below this post. That's it for this week. I'm James George. This is Web Design Blog.